game in order to execute a pickle like that. Okay? There, there's three throws each. Three throws each, and he started to close in on her. That's exactly how that goes. That was perfect. That was great. Um, you know, we had great pitching again from Lillian. We had great pitching from Isabella. We had great pitching from Peyton. Okay? Like, we're not worried about offensively staying in these games. Brooke is a great pitcher from the other team. She pitched three solid innings. And you weren't worried about it. You got in the box and you did what you needed to do. Okay? So, it's good stuff. Uh, base running was good today. We were running fast. We were paying attention. I, I was I was happy. You know? Yeah, I thought uh, you also showed a lot of toughness. I know that a lot of girls got dinged up here and there. Oh, yeah. And you all showed a lot of toughness, both on defense, on offense. Uh, Isabella, when you got dinged, and then went ahead and stole two bases after that. Um, Peyton, I thought you pitched really well. This is the best I've seen you behind the plate. I meant that. Um, your, your catching today was phenomenal. We had the pickle, the strikeout, throwout play uh, in the last inning. Um, Rhea, you made so many outs at first base that I lost count. <laughs> you had five at least outs. Um, Emma, you played incredible defense today. Incredible defense. Um, and you had all three outs in one inning at first base. That was, yeah, absolutely. That was, that was fantastic. Lily, keep your composure uh, on the mound. He's given up. Two runs now in nine minutes. Uh, one run. <laughs> you can count, I guess. But you're going to give up a lot more if you keep thinking like that, right? Let them hit it. You have plenty of arm. You don't need to overthrow. But more importantly, take a look around this circle. Every single one of these girls has your back. Isabella, Kate, Emma. Rhea, when you get out there, when you take that circle and you start pitching, I want you to look around the circle right now. These girls have your back. We can play defense. And we can play really good defense. We want you to throw balls that they can hit because balls they can hit are strikes. And a lot of them, they're not going to get to. And the ones that they do, we have a great chance of getting some out. Yes, ladies and <coughs> Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You play whoever's on the field, right? Um, I'm glad you mentioned that, right? So, who's on the field, what the score is, how many games they've won, how many games you've won, all of these things are distractions. I tell every team that I coach, if you watch the scoreboard, you are watching yourself lose. Remember that. If you watch the scoreboard, you are watching yourself lose. Next play doesn't just mean when I do something wrong, move on. Next play means even after I get something right, move on. Because the game is still going on. Okay? We keep it moving on to the next play, whether we're doing right or we're doing wrong or whatever it is, because the game is still going on. The season is still going on. Now we're one game closer to the end of the season. We're not talking about the games we already played. If somebody asks you, how many games have you won? I want you to remember this right now. Everybody, this is the same answer. How many games have you won? It doesn't matter. How many games have you lost? It doesn't matter. We'll talk to you about that after the season. That's your answer. We'll be happy to talk to you about that when the season is over. Okay? We are maintaining our focus for the next game, which is after break. Okay? The next game is after break. We're going to have a break. For fall break, I hope everyone has a great time on fall break, but get some practice in, all right? Get some practice in if you're not traveling. But when you get back, we'll be back on the field. If um, coaches are around, we'll try and maybe get some, some of y'all out here. We'll be out of the country, but if they can get out here, we'll send something on the uh, message board to try and get y'all out here to get practice in. Uh, yeah, sure. Game ball and... All right, this game ball is really for an all-around great games. She had a great day at the plate, great base running, excellent plays in the outfield, keeping girls with long hits to singles. Avery, it's really fun to watch you out there play. You know, when a ball gets hit to left field, that should automatically be a double at this age, and yet you are holding girls to singles, and you're doing it regularly. This one's for you. Yeah. Good job, Avery. Good. Good.
tell you what I always tell you. You will win and lose games in the outfield. Mm -hmm. And we're winning games because of exactly what he just said. Because it does two things, right? Number one, they're not scoring on home runs when they hit the gaps, right? You're on the balls of your feet, you're knocking it down, you're getting it. But we set up the force, right? So on the next play, if we keep that runner to first, there's two places we can get out now, right? So not only are we not letting them get I'm runs in, we're giving ourselves more chances to get out. But a lot of time you don't see a lot of action in the outfield. Depends on who you're playing against. So it's sometimes hard to keep that focus and stay on the ball of your feet and just stay ready. And I think you've done an incredible job doing that over the course of this season, especially the last year. Good job, Kim. You don't see a lot of action yet. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Um, all right, so my game ball, I thought she played great inning behind the plate of catcher. Uh, you threw the ball down a bunch of times today. You were on the balls of your feet. Um, you were patient at the plate. I wouldn't tell you this during a game because I don't want you to start questioning stuff. That is not a strike. Trust your eyes, right? I tell you this because I want... One thing, girls, that I think is hard at this age is when a pitcher is struggling, they make the strike zone wider and wider. And it makes it very hard for us to coach hitting because we're trying to teach you what's called a batter's eye. You'll hear us say, don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. But we're telling you not to chase, and this is a ball, and then the next inning, that same pitch is a strike. In the long run, you're not swinging that pitch actually a good thing. Because as you continue to play the game, and hopefully as you continue to get more experience and better umpires, you're not going to expand the zone. That is a ball. Right? So you were patient and you swung at pitches that both he and I thought, or didn't swing at pitches that we thought were balls. He didn't call it that way. But one thing that I can always count on with you, grace is always great. No matter if things are going your way or things are not going your way, you put the team first, and the moment that pitch went by, came over to me, gave me a high five, smile back on, helmet goes in, feel your plate, and you're right on that fence cheering. And I will tell you this much, whether you get two hits, three hits, zero hits in the game, whether you get two outs on defense, no outs, whether every ball goes by you, you're the same person, you have all of their backs. I think there are a lot of games, I'll go ahead and say most of the games, we may not win without you. And you're doing things in that dugout that don't show up on the score sheet. Leadership. Exactly. And they may not show up on your stat sheet, but I'm telling you they show up on every single one of these girls' stat sheets. And every single parent that's in those stands Every parent that walks through that dugout, every single coach that is on that field, hears your voice, sees what you're doing, and everybody is cheering for you because we know that you have everybody else's back. You are a leader. I absolutely love coaching you. Keep doing what never change, Grace. Never, ever change because that attitude is not only going to take you far on a softball field, but that attitude is going to take you far in life. You are never going to have a problem making friends. You are never going to have a problem succeeding because you have a great attitude, you work hard, people want to be around you, I want to keep coaching you. And I told your dad this about halfway through the season, as long as my family is at Murphy Candler and your family is at Murphy Candler, I will fight and do everything I can to do to give Grace to America and my daughter. Mm -hmm. Good job. Good job, Grace. Good job in that pickle. Yes, and the pickle. And the pickle. Um, anyway. What's that pickle? But all of you got a little grace in you. And I'll tell you this after every game, I love coaching this team. I know he does too. This is a special team. Have fun on break. Relax. Play a little bit of softball if you can. Right? But we need to come back out, keep this energy, keep this attitude. All right? Grace, Avery, break it down for us. We did not three. We did not three. One, two, three. Blue Jays. Great job, girls. Great job, girls.